Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be from my Aquarius, and this is going to be from the 9th through the 15th of April for that week. I will be using my Affirmator's Tarot deck, and to clarify, I'll be using Learning Tarot cards. All the cards that I use, they're in my description. And also, I am planning to come live on Sunday, approximately 1 p.m. Well, not approximately, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I live on the East Coast. Okay? So, New York time. New York time for all of those, all right, who... For my foreign friends. All right. I love you guys. I love all you guys. Well, we come and we'll talk. I'll share a little bit about my journey. Um, you know, we're not going to... We'll cover anything you want to cover. We'll talk about anything. So Aquarius, this is for you. <sighs> so Aquarius, let's see. Got the Ten of Wands. You got some extra responsibilities. The Two of Swords, get a little tied up. You got a decision to make. The Three of Swords, it has something to do with love. You got a broken heart. Are you thinking about breaking somebody's heart? Ah, the Five of Pentacles, it's like a thorn in your side, whatever it is that's happening. You're deciding to break up with someone? The Ace of Pentacles. Well, we know it's a good year for you, Aquarius. Actually, it's a good season for you, ain't it? Ace of Pentacles. Finances. The Three of Pentacles. The universe is building something for you. The Knight of Pentacles. You're waiting to hear something about money? Finances? Or are you waiting to hear about the lovers? The Three of Cups, celebration, happiness. It could be, you know, just going out with friends or it could be going out with someone, a romantic interest. So let's see, the Ten of Wands. What burdens, what burdens you, what burdens you? Your decision, I'm gonna leave that out. Your decision burdens you. That was the two of swords, just like what you got next to the um, the ten of wands. You got the two of swords on top of the ten of wands. You have a decision to make, and it has to do with romance. I got the two of um, swords and the knight of cups. I think it has something to do with the heart. Come on, don't do this. Let's don't do this. Whatever it is, you need to be patient. You want to do something. There's some kind of move, move, movement, forward planning. You're planning something. I got the three of wands and I got the temperance card. Temperance says, I know my extremes. Now I seek peace. You want to do this. 
you're thinking about this breakup. You want to you wanna break up with someone because you want your peace. You're planning it, but you don't know how to do it quite as yet because it's going to cause a broken heart. Or this unhappiness is just a thorny inside and you just need to get rid of it. That could be it. Three of Swords. Ah, you're still planning it. The Seven of Pentacles. You planted some kind of seed. You might have made some kind of suggestion about something. And I got the King of Wands here. Now, the King of Wands is a fire energy. This is a Leo, a Sagittarius, or Aries. They like being in charge and they're a leader. Now, that seed that could be your personality, Aquarius, because... I think you had a little bit of that in you, you know. I think Aquarius um, are pretty straightforward. To a point. Not fully. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> Not in a bad way, okay? I mean, because when you know, sit down and you think of people and their personalities, you know. I mean, I know a few Aquarius and oh my gosh. One of them, they seem okay. The other one, oh. I don't have, I have a really um, in your face kind of way. Not that I mean to be the way I am. Even when I speak to you guys and I'm being firm, you know. Even when I speak lovingly. I mean, I just, I am me. So I have an Aquarius friend, masculine. Many years ago, there was an interest, you know, both parties. There was talk about marriage and everything else, you know, possible, whatever. But suddenly, everything I would say, this person just took it like I was being a real And that was not my intention or that I was like, well, you know what? I don't even think I need to speak to this person anymore, you know? But I've known the person for many, many years. You know, I grew up with the person. That's the sad part of it. If they would, would love to just be friends and, you know, nothing, just let's, let's just stay platonic and just be friends. Maybe it'll work as friendship. But I don't think, you know, they, they're a little moody and they're full of themselves sometimes. They want things I'm wearing. They're a little freaky, too. They're the way they talk sometimes. And I'm too old for that. Little too old for that. You know what I mean? The Five of Pentacles. Gosh, I just shared part of my life with you. So, Five of Pentacles. I got the... Um, and that ha that's a while back that that was. So, anyway. um, I got the Nine of uh, Wands and the Hierophant. This person wants you to marry them. But you standing firm. You standing your ground. You don't want to do that. No, no, no. Because you love money too much. You can have her sign a prenup. You can have her sign a prenup. Right? You don't have to part with your, your riches. Now, my little story about my Aquarius is not saying that all Aquarius are like that. I find them very intelligent and very beautiful people to speak with. I love chatting with them. They make my mind move. This person is from your past. <laughs> Man, 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 man. You know, just now, Benjamin. <laughs> if that was a man there, whoo, and I think he is an Aquarius, if I am mistaken. He is an Aquarius. That dog of mine is an Aquarius. Bossy, he looks at me, he tells, like he's trying to come in my room right now, and I'm, hold on. 
Just lay down right there. I'll be right there. He has to wait. They don't like waiting. They're not patient. They claim they are. But they're very loving, you know. When you catch him on a good day. <laughs> okay, get back. I'm getting back to you guys. Here we go. Okay, darling. So, this might be somebody who wants you to marry them, but you're not really interested in marriage to this person. And then there's someone from the past that you want to celebrate with. You want to celebrate something with somebody from the past. I don't know. And the universe is building something for you. This is the six of um, cups and the three of cups here for you. And then you got the three of pentacles over here. The universe is definitely building something. There's some type of reunion. I got the six of cups and the three of cups. And both of them are reunions of some type. So you better be ready. Now the, <laughs> the universe is building something for you. You're going to cause a broken heart or somebody's going to break your heart. I got the three of swords and the queen of swords. Now Aquarius, you know you are the air sign. So you are the queen of swords. The Three of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So right now you're going through some kind of pain. Or you might be over it, actually. You might be over it. I'm hoping that each day you work on yourself, you know, and every day you overcome everything that you need to overcome. That's my wish for you. My wish for you is that whatever you wish for yourself, you have that and more. But just don't forget, do it with your heart and don't get greedy. Greed is what messes it up. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. You got um, the Queen of um, Wands and the Star. Queen of Wands and the Star card. Queen of Wands and the Star. You got the King of Wands up there. So the Queen of Wands and the Star card. So there's a lot of hope. I mean, you might be thinking about business. If not, this is the energy within your environment. This could be, like I said, a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. There's a lot of hope for whether it's a relationship. Because I got the lovers here. Might be a relationship. There's a lot of hope for this relationship. Or, I know you're Aquarius. But Aquarius could be in a relationship with another air sign too. Did this air sign break your heart? Or... <sighs> and you're feeling there's a lot of hope with this fire energy. It's a better prospect. But fire energies are more fiery. You like a little spice, though, you know. So the lovers, I got the page of cups and I got the ten of cups. Use your intuition. You got intuition. You need to use it. And you can have your happy family that you are desiring. Okay? You just got to use it. You got to have celebrations. Who is the celebration with? Who is the celebration with? Hmm. I got the... <clears throat> Whatever the situation is. Got to make a choice. Got to choose. It has you all in your head. There's a part of you that want to move on. And then there's a part of you like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? The six of swords and the nine of swords. And I pulled one extra card because those cards are kind of heavy. I pulled the knight of pentacles. Okay. You have a routine down. If you're happy with your routine and the way your life is, stay. You know?
know what I mean? But if you think it's worth going after, darlings, follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. I love you guys. You take care of yourself. And I will see you soon. Bye.